learn to love what we've been taught to fear. Since I was a little kid, I've been told, don't fall off anything. Don't go too close to the edge. And I didn't, but later on I found out I feel, I feel it feels natural for me being on the edge. So I wanted to see what's behind this edge, what's waiting for me. The thing is, if you do something successful in life, again and again, you're spoiled by your own success. And you're never satisfied with what you have accomplished. You think it was good, but you also think you can do better. So the next time you try so hard to do it better and you reach that level, and you're still not satisfied. So it pretty much looks like a never-ending search. Of course it scares me, you know, I mean, I lost a lot of friends in that sport. And some of them, they made big mistakes, some of them, they just hit Murphy's Law. And this is the scariest part. But on the other side, if everything would be safe, and there's no problem involved, you know, why doing it? It always sounds a little bit cocky if you say it's worth for dying it, you know. But it was always like this. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. And this is something that I really wanted to do. And this is life, you know, this is part of life. And this is also what makes life interesting. If there are no goals left, you know, what are you gonna do? I mean, I've been working so hard the last 12 years to develop my skills and to take it to another dimension. And I think with this project, I definitely reached the peak. I believe in God and I truly think there is a plan that He has for everybody. And I also think He has a plan for me. It looks like I'm becoming an astronaut. Locking myself in a pressure capsule and going up to 130,000 feet. And I'm going to slide the door open, bail out, and I'm going to be the first human person in free fall who's breaking the speed of sound. That's his plan and that's probably my last goal that I have to accomplish. Right now, I think I'm at a point or a level where I know exactly what I've been doing. It feels natural to me and I know how to deal with it. And to me, the Rebel Stratos project is the biggest thing that I can do. This is why I'm working on it and I think this is what I've been made for.